Hello, this is me, Judy Jones, and I'm playing a tower really called cool, The Harp of Dagda. Right, so this is the first tower I've played in quite a few months, and I thought I'd do a new Lara, young Lara one. So it's one of those sort of island based ones with these little horrible little demon things. And it was fairly difficult to start off with. I had a look at the guide because I always do. So what we've got to do is we've got to get a couple of bags of money and we've got to get access to a church, get a couple of crosses as well. And there's a whole bunch of bits and pieces we've got to do. There's an area over here which we can't get into yet. And a gate that doesn't open, it opens on the other side. That's the church there. And then it, there's the church part, that's like part of the complex over there, can't get in there either yet. I thought I'd show this area up here because um, you can end up doing a whole bunch of stuff and then you've got to backtrack. So there's this area here. I quite enjoyed this one. I did I did have to look at the guide, but um, once I got going on it, it wasn't too bad. But um, not massively long, it just feels like it if you get stuck on it. So what we've got to do is, over here, there's the area that we were just in earlier, just down there. And then, basically, we've got an area over here. But if you go to this area where I'm going first, you, you have to come back this way, because you can't progress. So down here, I'll just show it, I don't really need to go down there just yet. There's a secret in, in that water down there. There's a water wheel. There's a whole bunch of stuff we've got to do over there. But we can't do anything there yet because we need to do the stuff in the church. And what we need to do, actually while we're here, there's some money that we have to get. We go up to here. Because if we don't get it now, I'll have to come back later and I might forget to do it. To get access to the church, you need to put two pots of, uh, two bags of money into two different pots. And there's some money here, and there's some money in one of those houses over near the, where the mill is. So get it now, I don't have to come back later on. It's quite a varied level, and the bit that caught me out was that where we have to get access to an area. And it's like one of those key code type things, you've got to press a series of buttons on a wall. Uh, and the actual hint is really um, obscure. So pick the money up, get that first. There's only about two health packs on this level, but you don't really need it unless you're really unlucky. So, I only played it what, twice. I played it when I got st I got stuck and I looked at the guide and I've just finished that. So what we've got to do is, we need to go over to here, because over the other side of this ravine, there's uh, something we need to do. Save. Okay. Run, jump, grab. What we have to do is... There's that guy who has no heart. And what he does is he'll bloody appear. And you have to get his heart and he'll basically stab you and keep going at you until you're dead. So you have to pick it up. Ugh. Annoying little git, so to kind of be really quick with it. Lara, get it. There it is. And he, he stays here, he doesn't come after you after you leave this section. So there he, he, there he is. And what we need to do with that is we need to open a doorway with that heart to get to the next section. Oh, there's a secret up here, isn't there? Oops, Lara. There's about, I think, two of these, I think. Lara, she's stuck on the thing. Oh. What are you bloody doing my head? She's young, she gets stuck on things. All right. oh. Pick that up. They don't do anything like 2 to 5 era secrets. They don't really do anything. They have weird lines. I think that's the rain coming in from the sides. Right, go down here, I don't want to fall off and break my neck. 
go to here what you can do is you can pick up a number of these um, torch things. Lara, just pick it up. I didn't even notice this in the beginning. I thought, what are these for? I didn't notice. I, thought, oh. I got very stuck in the beginning. I always get stuck on these. Right, so we go over here. Uh, I don't know where am I going. I'm going the wrong way. These guys, they just hurt you. Just bloody annoying. Oh, they get set on fire. <sighs> Going to here, and what we've got is there's a bit where some boulders turn up. Ow. Just run right to the end, go to the end, and just stand there. There they are. So they do not touch you when they're moving. Ow. And we've got this heart thing, I'll just put the thing there. Laura, what are you doing? Oh, we need to put it into a hole in the wall. Which, again, I found this the first thing I found before I looked at the guide. So, okay, you've got this heart thing. And I went right to where the, the water mill is. And I went there. And then I went into a building you're not supposed to go into. Larry is stuck. And then I got stuck in a room with a pull lever and you can't get out. So there is a kind of either a glitch. Oh, for crying out loud, Lara. She's young, she gets stuck in things. Lara, you're young. Doing so, for Christ's sake, woman! Oh. You can end up going to the other side of the level and then going into a building where you can climb through a window that you're not supposed to go through, and then getting stuck in the inside of a building. So that's a bit annoying. Right, you go to here, and that was that door that opened there. This is where I got stuck, because you're in this room and there's an arrow thing shooting out the wall. Where is it? There it is. And you can get injured by that, that's like a poisonous dart thing. Go into here, avoiding the thing. Now I went down here. There's a thing up there where the actual thing, you've got to press the buttons on the wall. I didn't notice that at all. There's a door here which you need to get open. I can't really get that in there, can I really? And this was the clue for the for the puzzle. So you go into if you go into here and you go, I don't know what this is. There's this is the order that you've got to put them in. So it's this side. So you've got a blank one, a sort of a man's face, and then a and a pattern. That's the order. And if you get the thing wrong, you have to basically reset it. And I can't remember how you have to reset it. You have to come back here and press on a pressure plate or something. I don't know what it is. Um, so, I don't know if you need that, do I? With this bloody thing here. Oh, we get up. So. We can't take the, the torch in there, because she never does. Shame we can't put in the inventory, but... So I missed this area initially. I didn't know it was here, so I'd look at the guide. That gate doesn't do anything. I don't know what that is or where that goes. Right, so remember the puzzle. It's... This dog head thing would be the blank one. Oops. Then it's this one. And then it's this patterned one. And you should hear a, a kind of a door opening. The guide was a little bit... Um, like they always are, the, the walkthrough is a little bit vague and they didn't point things out very well or said things about something where you have to go and it didn't say exactly, it didn't say where this was, it said you have to go back where you came from and then pull up. I thought, well, that's a bit vague. Door should be open, there it is. And we walk into this room, now there's a thing where spikes come out of the ground, so just go down the middle. I walked through this entire room and went back over there and then I got killed and I thought, how did I manage to just wander through that? There's like two areas. Go up here. And what we've got to do is unlock the gates that lead us back to the area we've just come from. There's nothing in this area, it's just space. And then ignore this kind of sort of gantry thing here. It doesn't do anything. You can't get on it. This thing here. Just go for the lever. Okay. 
now. Leave this area and we go to where you've got like, this is the grounds of the church or something. I think we're on the other side of that, I think, earlier or something. And we're in this graveyard, there's nothing in it but open graves and whatever and skeletons and not a lot else, so... Not a lot here, it's just a bit... It's holding the ground, really. And on this side, there's... Take note of this. That's a hole in the ground. We'll have to come back there in a minute. And... We have to... This is the front of the church, right? So we need to put two bags of money, one in each of them, but we haven't got bag both of the bags of money. We've got one. I thought you had to jump over this wall or something. There's an actual lever here to open this gate. Lara. And we have to get across first. And we have to get one of these, because we can't get through there with the torch. You have to get the torch from here. Without getting set on fire, Lara, because she likes to get set on fire. Please don't get set on fire, Lara. Right. Because we need to get two different crosses. Now one is in the church, but we haven't got in there yet. And the other one is where we're gonna go where we're going. And we need that to open another door that's right at the end of the level to get this magic uh, golden heart or whatever the, the heart of the dag but whatever it's called. And yeah, I was very confused because you've got to go sort of southwest and then there's two doors. I'm like visual, trying to visualise it and I'm like, I don't know what it's talking about. It's very long winded if you don't know what you're doing and you need to end up getting lost because it's like kind of a linear, non linear thing. Go down here. There's a kind of a root thing. Set it on fire. Lara, don't get burnt. Probably doesn't. You never know. You've got to be careful. Drops a, a um, thing across. Pick it up. Leave the torch down there. Can't take it with us. And what have we got there? Like we've got one of those, and we should have one bag of coins. What we've got to do now is we have to go to the area that was where the mill is, or the windmill thing. Got to get the. Where's that other gate? There's a gate going where we've just been with the fires and the little kind of men running about. And then there's the other. Is it over here? Right, pull that. And there's a whole bit that I missed out. If you come here earlier, you can't really do anything. Um, I'm going to go and get the secret because it's in the water. You can come here from, a, from the beginning of the level where I showed earlier, but you can't really do anything. We've got to go... Oh, we've got to go up here. If you're after the secrets... Oops, Lara. I found this bit at the beginning when I first played it. Is it? Yeah, it's one of them blooming secrets. Okay. Oh, right, so now we've got that, we can get out. Because you can end up basically going the way that the guide says, but you never really see much of this. So, I thought I'd show it. 